Thank you to the gentleman from California. Now, I could stand here all night talking about the many reasons why our country needs comprehensive immigration reform that keeps families together, provides a tough but fair pathway to citizenship, enhances border security, and that's in line with our core American values. But tonight, I'm going to focus on why immigration reform is good for the American economy and good for the economy in New Mexico. And nationally, it's estimated that immigration reform will create 121,000 jobs a year and boost American GDP by $832 billion over the next decade. And nearly every day, we hear members of both parties talking about the need to reduce our debt and deficit. Well, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office has determined that comprehensive immigration reform reduce our national deficit by nearly $850 billion over the next two decades. In New Mexico, comprehensive immigration reform will create 6,000 jobs over the next decade and increase our GSP, that's gross state product, by $3.8 billion. Now, these economic benefits and new jobs will have a ripple effect, leading to even more economic activity, higher productivity, more critical investments, better wages, and even more jobs for New Mexicans and Americans. Simply put, we cannot afford not to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Our economic future demands it, and that's why I'm glad that so many of my colleagues are taking to the floor this evening to make the economic case for comprehensive immigration reform. Because the American people need to know that it's good for the economy, good for business, and good for job creation. The Senate has done its job and acted in a bipartisan manner. Now it's time for the House to do its job so we can send a comprehensive immigration reform bill to the President's desk and finally fix our broken immigration system. I yield back to the gentleman from California. Thank you very much.